Here are some lists. Here are some tuples. The first one is sometimes called a pair, the second a triple, and the third a four-tuple. The general term is tuple. At first glance, they look identical, except that where lists have square brackets, tuples have round parentheses. There are two important differences, though, having to do with Haskell's type system. First, the length of a list is not part of its type. We can compare two lists of different lengths. The size of a tuple is part of its type, so it doesn't make sense to compare tuples of different sizes. Second, all of the elements of a list must be of the same type. The elements of a tuple can be of different types. A tuple, then, is something like a struct in C or an object in Java. It collects several pieces of information, which may be of different types. For example, we could use a tuple to store the make, model, and year of a car. There are a few special functions that work only for pairs. FST gives us the first element of a pair. SND gives us the second element. ZIP turns two lists into a list of pairs. Let's wrap up Chapter 2 by solving a puzzle. Among the numbers 1 through 8, when does the smaller number have a longer word? For example, 3 is less than 6, but the word 3 has more letters than the word 6. To solve this, let's define a couple of lists. We can zip those together into a list of pairs. To solve the puzzle, let's first make a list of all possible pairs of these numbers using a list comprehension. This is the list of all pairs comprising the first element of P and the first element of Q, where P and Q both come from the list pairs. To limit this to pairs where the first number is smaller, add a filter. Finally, to further limit this to pairs where the second word is longer, add another filter. Here's a first attempt. That's not quite right. The word 1 is not longer than the word 4. Can you tell what went wrong? We compared the words 1 and 4 lexicographically, and 1 does come after 4. What we want to compare, though, is their lengths. This is easy to fix. You have to admit, that's pretty nifty.